Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? A little stressed, teacher. <laughs> I look stressed. No, I'm not stressed. Yeah, yes. I so sorry for for having closed my session class last night because oh. it's, it's really it was an emergency. Uh, nobody remember the meeting to me and and forgot forgot that began another session at the same time. Oh, you had another session also? Yeah, yeah. with my five co-worker, my boss, and the auditory people, and I, is an obligation to be there. Is It was a update our accounting system. Excuse me. Okay. How did it go? Was it good? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So tonight we have to um, continue talking, but we're going to talk about M commerce, mobile commerce. It's going to be a little bit different. Hello, Blanca. Good evening. What happened to you? Hello, teacher. Hey, <laughs> what happened to you? You were absent some days. Yeah, yesterday I really felt bad and I fell asleep. I don't know, seven o'clock, I think. At seven o'clock? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but today um, I'm fine. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I'm, glad to hear I'm glad to hear that. Okay, so tonight we have a great session. We have some videos to watch and discuss in groups. Continuing with the topic. Uh, I was telling you yesterday that most likely this coming Friday, we won't have class. I'll let you know on Thursday. So don't miss Thursday's class. So we can all be uh, agree. And yeah, everybody's connecting right now. So let's do the attendance. It's 8.05 already, okay? Please turn on your camera. Turn on your camera. Thank you. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Stephanie. Stephanie, I'm sorry. Okay, somebody said something. Jocelyn. Okay, I got you, Jessica. Okay. Okay, okay. Stefania, if you can turn on your camera. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Blanca Stefani Navarro Flores. Present. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Erika Beatriz Lopez Morales. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Madeo Villacorta Chávez. Okay. Fredis Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here, teacher. Good. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Amos Alfredo García Granadino. Oso Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Sandra Elizabeth Osorio Romero. Present. Thank you. Estefanía Carolina Reyes Sánchez. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Okay. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. She's there. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Oh, your microphone is not working. Roberto Luis Sumaño Orellana. No, you hear me? 
Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Roger's not here. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Irene Susena Cuellar Albanés. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Thank you. And Thelma Clotilde Peña Martinez. Present. Okay, great. I'm here, teacher. Great. Thank Thank you. you. Thank you, Francisco. It's okay. Okay, I, I want to try something before we move on. I'm sorry. Um, give me one second. If I try this specific will work. Okay. Uh, can you see? What can you see? Just this window? This window? Yeah. Is that all you can see? For questions. Huh? Yeah. For questions. No, 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 I know, I know. But you can only see the student's book, right? You can only see the student's book. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, what if I, what now? Now it's gray, right? Black uh, gray. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm using dual monitors. So uh, th this is weird. I don't know. It's my first time. Okay. So uh, I'm on the other side by myself. Okay. So let's move on. Tonight, we have to remember really quick what we talked about yesterday. What was the grammar topic about? I don't remember. Okay. We were talking about uh, come again, uh, Andres, and then we have Sulema. In the indefinite pronouns. Indefinite pronouns. Indefinite no. pronouns. For example, Sulema. Uh, nobody. Anybody. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Somebody. Everybody remembers yesterday's topic. Do you? Yeah, we started the class reviewing the uh, task questions, remember? Um, that's what we did, didn't we? Okay, I hope you got it at this point with the task questions and using indefinite pronouns is easy. It's very simple as in Spanish. Today we have two topics, basically M commerce, which is uh, mobile commerce, but in a different way that, that you may have not experienced um, well, most of us, maybe, not all of us, uh, with the use of the Chivo wallet. If you use the Chivo wallet um, to spend at least the $30 that the government gave us to pay for gas, for example, if you use the, the, um, the Chivo wallet, the app to pay for something, then you have experienced mobile commerce, which is basically paying with your device, with your cell phone. And that is a trend. That is a trend in the US, in the United States. Um, in fact, the company that I work for, now, as I told you before, they, they sell prepaid cards and you can actually, well, you can buy digital cards, you know, through your email, they send you uh, the card number, a picture of a card with the whole 16 digits the 19 digits on the back, the whole information of the, of the prepaid card is sent to you by email. So it's faster, okay? The amount of money, you can log into your account on, online, check your balance, but you can also download an app from Google or from for, um, iOS for Apple, and you can, you can add that number, that card number, to the Google wallet or the Apple wallet or the Apple wallet. So if you add it to one of these wallets, you can go anywhere where they accept NFC, which I typically forget what it is. <laughs> I always forget what is NFC, near field communication. So the technology is called near field communication. I'm just giving an intro really quick. What? What? Okay, so NFC, 
near field communication. That's yes. the name. That's the name of the uh, technology, let's say. And you know what? This is like, <laughs> this is gonna sound familiar for most of us. Do you remember uh, infrared technology? Do you remember infrarrojo, infrared? Yes, yes. The transfers, <laughs> Man, but then, it was slow. <laughs> so slow, right, Andres? Man, you had to put both cell phones close to each other so you could transfer something, you know. Man, Man. it was really slow. So this is basically like that. But I think you have to scan a code or something. Um, and that's the way cell phones communicate with other devices. As simple as that. So, and nowadays, many people is using the cell phone to pay for something. Instead of your credit card, your debit card, your real money, you just show them your phone and look, that's it. You paid. That's NFC. Okay, we're gonna talk about that in depth in, depth, uh, in a minute. But for now, let's start with your student's book. So, let's see. Um, first, let's see what, what's the, uh, the main idea of this class. At the end of this class, you will be able to... Blanca, welcome. Can you read? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, thank you. Okay. I, I didn't find the the, the microphone. You okay. couldn't. Uh, sorry, but you can put more, I don't know, small the, the screen. Can you make the letters smaller? Okay. Is that better? Yeah, because I, I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Compare, compare the characteristics. Characteristics of e-commerce worldwide to its characteristics in the national market. Kiko, it's very good. <laughs> characteristics. Okay. So it's characteristics in the characteristics. national market. Huh. The characteristics yeah. of e-commerce worldwide to its characteristics in the national market. So how do we compare it um, with what I told you? Have you experienced paying with your cell phone anywhere? Yes, my case, yes. I don't. I don't. Mm -hmm. What app did you use for? <clears throat> uh, payphone. Payphone? But that doesn't work with NMFC. Uh, but I have uh, Promedica Pay. Promedica Pay yeah, is, is using NFC in, in, the, in the app. Oh, so the, yeah, there, there's another option, the QR code? No, yes, the QR code or your cell, your number, cell, cell number. Your cell phone number, really? Yes, you, you attach your credit cards in the app and you only, you choose the, it's like a PayPal, you choose the, the, the default the credit card that, that has, has been charged. That will be charged. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, I, okay. You only uh, give your cell phone number, and they they send you a transaction to approve. You approve the transaction, and mm -hmm. that that's it. Interesting. Okay, and many many uh, entrepreneurs or uh, businesses online are using something similar, a, a virtual POS. You know what is a POS, right? A point of sale. You know the little yes. thing where they scan your card, right? Shook. Okay, so they're using a virtual one, an HTML, actually a, a website, let's say, that is very similar to POS. That's another way as well. And they send you a, a voucher. They send you a voucher through email. It's very interesting. So how important is it for businesses to have an app that allows online purchases? How important is it for businesses to have an app to that allows online online purchases. Our smartphones, the future of online commerce. So I'm gonna split you for the first time right now so we can move on with the class. We're gonna try to have you speaking, not me tonight. 
So does somebody want to give an idea of the topic? How important is it for businesses to have an app that allows online purchases? Is it important? Yes, it is because when we, I, I know uh, many, many people that they don't want to, to pay it in cash because if for, for them, uh, uh, bring cash with, with them, with them is very dangerous sometimes when the, the product are expensive. Bringing cash, that's what you wanted to say. Bringing cash for them is very dangerous, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. So are smartphones the future of online commerce? What do you think? Uh, I think it's not the future, it's the present, I think because you can pay online many, many things with your phone. Is it safe? Uh, I never had a bad experience. Mm -hmm. With online purchases, okay. So basically that's the topic right now. Just those, these two questions. Please talk to your classmates, share your opinion. That's the whole point of this class. Don't stay quiet, give your opinion, have fun having a conversation with your classmates. I'll bring you back in a minute. And the questions are on your group, on your WhatsApp too. Okay, let's go for the first time. Okay, guys. Hello. Good evening, Hello. guys. Did you hear me? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, how important is it for a business to have an app that allows online portion? But do you think I? Okay, well, I will say my opinion. I guess that uh, nowadays it's really important for a uh, store to have an application uh, that allow me to pay from my cell phone. And uh, now with COVID-19, transfer money in physical or also use the, the debit card can be something dangerous for the public is we are talking about health. And also um, uh, bring money in physical also can be dangerous if we traveling in bus or something like that. Remember here in these countries that <laughs> It's really, really secure. We can expect everything. And what about you? What do you think? Well, I have a little, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a little experience about the uh, purchase of, uh, by uh, my app online. But I have a, a bank, a bank, Mm, of uh, agricola bank so okay. i have some payments uh, through the app and and sometimes i have some problems 
because uh -huh. the the app uh, even even you can pay with qr qr code too uh -huh. yes i, I remember i remember before that the apps increased that the, uh, you can you have the option to to for look some article or some items on internet but you can use use your pc and if for your cell phone are mm -hmm. so difficult when you are looking someone something sorry so right now it's easier easier to find a lot of apps to buy whatever you want yes it's um you can use your cell phone in wherever you are there we go and um, i think uh use a i i don't use a pc too much only in, in my job and for english class yeah, but <laughs> for other, other things i use cell phones that's mm -hmm. that's true mm -hmm. i think everyone you only use your or cell phone for for everything yes yes easier you you have to sell on your pocket and you can have you can have it in any place you are yeah that's true mm -hmm. and nowadays is uh, it's a easy way to transfer money because almost all, all the banks in the country has transferred 365 or uni uni. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for the company the is is um how can I say okay for example Tigo before only you can the, the the net is really slow but that way it right is i i don't like to do frequently that just when i i think is is um a bit uh is good benefit when you you don't expose your your account and on a custodial wallet. Why are you Blanca and Sandra? Hello. I'm trying to speak, but my microphone it doesn't work. Now it does. Yeah, but I have to take off my earphones. Ear, ear, I don't know. <laughs> okay, um, I was asking about if Chivo, Chivo Wallet was an M-commerce. And about what you, you talk about, I think that yes, it's an M-commerce. You say, and I think, I, already, I think it does. Yeah, I already use it. So yeah, I have the experience and I like to, well, just like Judy uh, said, uh, I don't like to connect a uh, public Wi-Fi because for me, it's always dangerous. So I always, have my I don't know how to say redes networks uh, connected to use it in in public place. I always use my my own net networks, and I already use PayPal, and I don't know if that it's an M commerce too, <laughs> but I already use it. You week 
like in a, the, the city was like around, I think it was the last month. I was buying some groceries at Super Selectos and I saw a guy that he was paying with his phone. But oh, it was weird because he just, he, he got close. Like he, he actually, I don't know what kind of machine it was, but he, he just put his phone close to the machine and he, that was it. Some banks have the, um, have the option to use your phone, just like your credit card or your debit card. So you can, uh, I, I don't know, you can sync your credit card on your app, uh, whatever the bank it is, because I have the, the, the example of Banco de America Central. They have the, the, the option to, I forgot the, the word, introducir. Yeah. App. I don't know. I don't remember. Introduce. Okay. Oh my God, that's so weird. Come on, guys. <laughs> introduce, uh huh? To introduce your, your credit card or your debit card and use it, use your phone just, just like the proximity option that have some cards. What happens if you get your phone stolen? You can block that option. <laughs> Because the first thing that you that you do when when your phone is stolen or when your credit card is stolen, you always report it, right? And that's the same thing. I is I, I don't know. That's the same thing when you when you lost your phone, when you lost your credit card, you you have to report it. I think <laughs> that's all. But but at the end, the end. I think it's a, a big through because you, you your salary is 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 your time. Right? Yes, you just sell your time, your work, for example. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And waste and waste our time in social media, uh, uh, watching yeah. different things that we not interesting. Yeah. You pay with your time, not with money. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> with your life. Mojica. <laughs> No, it's, it's a movie picture that you if you have a lot of time you are rich and poor people have a short time for paying or buying nah, or that's pay. a lie no 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 you do have a lot yeah. of time but the thing is that <laughs> you need to have the courage to do things without fear you know it's like me i have three jobs right now if i want to do something else I have to quit to I have to quit one of the jobs to, to make more time. But if I know that that's going to worth it, you know, it's going to be good and I will do it. No, what what Zulema said uh, was from uh, Alberto Mujica. Or what's his name? The yeah. former president of Uruguay, right? Sure. Uh, that's an amazing video. <laughs> OK, keep going. We're almost done. Okay. So um, let's move on. 
how important is it for businesses to have an app that allows online purchases? Uh, you know, in a few words, what can you tell me? I mean, is it really important nowadays, right now, in this modern world we live in El Salvador, in El Salvador? Is it important for businesses to have an app for purchases? I think it's necessary because uh, I remember when I was working and I, when I told someone, you need to have a website that permits you sell your product on internet and he told me no we don't need it this market is really bad but suddenly the the pandemic appeared and they decide to create a website to permit they, they allow product online and is that they lost a lot of opportunities to sell because they don't they don't had the preparation for that kind that kind of event and that's why it's important for business the business have um that kind of way to pay using the cell phone totally I agree with you i have a problem right now i urgently need a good mechanic to check my car because the carburetor is not cooperating. I just clean it with carbon cleaner that didn't work. And so I really need a good mechanic, but the problem is that I have no cash. I have no, no cash right now. So, and I need, I want to repair that problem. You know, I want to fix that problem. So a good solution will be if everybody will accept payment with credit card, debit cards, or electronic payment, that will be so easy, right? I, I really don't know why people just don't trust electronic payment. I, I don't know. I don't know. Imagine a mechanic, you want to have the problem fixed. You just pay him with a credit card and that's it right? It's money. Don't you think? They lose businesses, definitely. Okay. And so definitely smartphones are the future of online commerce. Um, yeah, well, I, I always place orders through the computer, you know, using the computer, but through the smartphone, I guess having an app, as Fernando said, is the best option to have an app to process purchases online. Okay. But for example, uh, when in my case, I recommend to don't use the, the, how do you say? It's better memorize your, always memorize your password because uh, see, you, don't, you don't know when you're used to how tactile, how do you say where that like? your fingerprint fingerprint when you use your fingerprint the app uh, save your credential because the first time you have to put put the the user or your id and your password in uh, after that in the second time you only use your your fingerprint but your 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 information sometimes is uh, only uh, saved in your in your phone, but in, in, in another app, apps, the your information is, is safe in the in the database of the of the service or app or, or app. So for as me we, it's better as we saw before with the cookies, right? Yes, for me it's better always memorize your password and don't say your password in your uh, browser. Mm -hmm. uh, that just, yes, it's very difficult because we have a lot of accounts sometimes, but it's better. Yeah, nowadays everybody can trick you for something. Uh, something really weird is happening to me. I have an aunt, and by the way, Fernando, um, when you say it's better don't use, you were trying to say it's better not to use. It's better not to use. Okay, the browser to save your password. Uh, I was telling you, I have an aunt from my grandmother, rest in peace. So she's like my grandmother's sister somehow, 
or she was actually the cousin of my grandmother. And we readily, we readily, readily, we readily speak, you know, or text each other through what through Facebook Messenger. About a week ago, I received an invite to accept her on my Facebook. And I was like, eh, maybe she changed her account, right? So I accept her. And today, we, she just texted me, you know, did you hear the news that the government is giving $50,000? I just got mines and I was like, really? Are we talking about El Salvador or the United States? And she was like, no, 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 here in the United States, but I think you could apply. You should give it a try. Let me give you their phone number. You can contact them and they will give you $50,000. And I'm like, Wait a minute, right? <laughs> that doesn't sound like my auntie. That's really weird. I mean, anybody could scam you, you know, easily, easily. And I'm pretty sure I'm totally positive that's not her. So I'm planning to text her asking her for my grandma's name or something. I don't know. What do you think? Should I call the number and record the call and put it on YouTube? Just like the one we watched before. <laughs> I think I'm going to do that. That would, be good. that would be good. And most likely will be somebody with a Hindu accent again, right? We want to invite you to get a credit with us. $50,000. Oh, my God. Really? Okay. So let's move on. We have a conversation so we can get in depth on this topic, okay? Elsa wants to purchase a book online, but she's having trouble to check out. Read the conversation and take turns. Be careful, turns. Practice in it. Practice in it. Practice in it with a partner. So let's see. I need two volunteers. I don't want to read. Me, teacher. Irene, thank you. Okay. One more. Me and Andres. Okay. Oh, no, sorry, Luis and me. <laughs> okay, Luis and Irene. One, two, three, go. Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from the App Store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed. Typed in, but you need to add your home address to your account or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I better go to a bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good, I guess. It looks like the software developers made Chicago too complicated for the end users. I will leave some feedback in their website. Excellent. Okay, let's check some pronunciation little things here. Uh, well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in, typed in, typed, typed, typed in again. The credit card number is already typed in, typed in. But you need to add your home address. Be careful, home, home, home address to your account. Let's see, do I have to do it twice? Do I have to do it twice? When it is not the subject of the sentence, it becomes a noun. I'm sorry, uh, an object, right? It becomes an object. So as an object, it sounds like et, 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 okay? Do I have to do it twice? 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 Practice, practice. This is so complicated, complicated. Forget about it. it sounds better, right? Forget about it. Mm -mm. Forget about it. Repeat it, forget about it, forget about it, forget about it. You see, so natural and forget about it. What is another synonym for this phrase? Somebody? 
Never mind. Hey, excellent. Nirvana, 1993, 94. I can't remember. 96, was it? Okay. Hey, good. Never mind. Uh, never mind. Sounds better, right? Uh, never mind. Okay. We don't. Where is this thing? I forgot. I lost the pen. Okay. So let's see. Uh, this is so complicated. Forget about it. I better go. I think the book is missing something here, don't you think? I better go the bookshop the bookshop. What, what what are we missing here? To the to the right, we're missing the preposition. I better go to the I better go to the bookshop. I don't like that word. I better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy. Get a get a get a get a repeat. Get a get a get a get a get a and get a physical copy. And get a physical copy. And forget the T in the middle of two vowels. Get a copy. Get a physical copy. Okay, that's good, I guess. No, it's not desocupado. What is this? How do you say desocupado in English? Man, how do you say desocupado in English? Okay, come on, Google. I will leave some feedback in there. Everybody? Not busy? No, it's not busy. Yeah. Unoccupied. Okay. No, no, unoccupied. He's unoccupied. He's unoccupied, yes. He's unoccupied. He's not busy. Oh. He's free. Uh, I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> William is like, yeah. <laughs> I, made, I made you think about a new word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Okay. What is it? Luis, you said something? Not busy. Yeah, that's a good word. Business. Okay. Simp I, I'm sorry, Luis. Business. 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 Yeah, that's not common, but it sounds good. Okay. Hey, the pronunciation of there as a pronoun. I will leave some feedback in their website. In their website, many students tend to say there, there. Forget about the I. Teacher, pero así suena there. I know it's the same thing, same pronunciation. There, there. Okay, let's get this going. I'm gonna send you a screenshot of this little conversation, this role play, so you can practice with a classmate. Please do it as many times as you can. Don't stop. This is so weird. I'm looking at my own face on the other monitor. I don't like it. Okay, anyways. So I'll send you the screenshot, please. Repeat, 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 repeat. Let's do it, guys. You can do it. Show me what you got. Hello. Hello. Hello, good evening, guys. Good evening. We have to practice the the conversation. Conversation, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, who starts? Okay. If you want, I can start with you. Okay. 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 Um, you wanna be Elsa? Okay, okay. Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from the app store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in, but you need to add your home address to your account or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good, I guess. It looks like the software developers may check out too complicated to the end users. 
I will leave some feedback in their website. Okay. Okay. Uh, Roberto Luis. Roberto, are you there? Hmm. Hello. If you want to go ahead, okay, and I'll, Alex. I'll practice with you. I'll be Alex this okay. time. You can be Elsa. Okay. Okay. Alex, I tried to purchase about from the app store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems. May check of the com complicated. 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 Oh, okay. Thank you. Complicated for for the for the end users. I will learn some feedback in their website. Okay. Next. I will be Elsa. Okay. okay. I'm Alex. Go ahead, Elsa. <laughs> okay. Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from the App Store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in, but you need to add your home address to your account, or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Okay. Do I have Do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I better go to the bookshop and get a physical physical copy. Good, I guess. It looks like software developers make it too complicated for the end user. I will leave some feedback in their website. Okay. <clears throat> Who's next? Me. Who with me? Me. I'm going to be Alex. Okay. Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from the App Store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems that credit card number is already typing, but you need to add your home address to your account or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I better go to, to bookshop, bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good. I guess it looks like that so the cars already typing in but but you need to add your to your account or you be able to complete the process. Do I have to let twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is a complicated forget about it it better go to the it pardon i better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy that's good i guess it looks like the software the, the developers made out too complicated for the end users i will leave some feedback in their website
Do it again, do it again. Fredix okay. and William. Okay, let's do it then. Where do you want to be, William? You will be outside. Okay. okay, it's your turn, Thelma. And yeah. I'm going to uh, Elsa. Yeah. Yes. Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from the app store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, I see the credit card number is already typing, but you need to add your home address to your account or you won't able to complete the purchase. Do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is complicated. Forget mm -hmm. about it. I better, I better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good. That's good. I guess I look like software developer may check out to, complete, to complicate for the end user. I will leave some feedback in their website. Okay, it's my card. Suleyma, and it's going to be Elsa. Okay. okay. Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from the App Store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in. But you need to add your home address to your account or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is all complicated. Forget about it. I better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good, I guess. It looks like the software developer the be developers make check out to complete. Okay, so I noticed um, some of you were having, were struggling with some things on your role play. So I'm just gonna leave this for the record, okay? Just gonna read it. Um, here, there should be a two. Okay, so just uh, watch the video again, specifically on this part. We are basically on the first hour, right in the middle of the class, if you want to watch the video again. Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from the app store but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in, but you need to add your home address to your account or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good, I guess. It looks like the software developers may check out too complicated for the end users. I will leave some feedback in their website. Is it cheesy? Okay. We're about to do the, um, the attendance one more time. I need um, a couple. I need a couple who wants to volunteer and try it one more time. Me. Me, I'm so sorry. Go ahead, guys. One, two, three, go. Okay, I'm going to be Elsa. Oh. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. 
Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from the App Store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typing, but you need to add your home address to your account or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have to do it twice? I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I, I better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good. I guess it lo looks like the software developer may check out too complicated for the end users. I will leave some feedback in their website. Good job. Okay. Hmm. Blanca, we have a problem with the end, the final sound on book, book, okay, book, and also book. bookshop, bookshop, bookshop. I'm yeah. hearing the last word. <laughs> Website, web. The last, web. I'm, hearing, I'm hearing the last letter of the words. You're eating the last letter. Yeah, the final sounds. That's called the final sound. Every word has a final sound. You see, every word has a final sound. And you must do it. Okay, uh, purchase, 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 purchases. Purchase, 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 purchase. purchase. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Yeah, that's the only way to get it. You have to repeat, repeat, repeat. Make sure you got it right. Okay, guys, let's do the attendance one more time. It's nine o'clock, but it's not Saturday. It's nine o'clock on a Tuesday. <gasps> Tomorrow is my short day. I start working at 6 a.m. Woo! Not 5 a.m. One more hour to sleep. Okay. <laughs> the things that I get happy for, right? <laughs> okay, it's like me tonight. Today I had lunch. I didn't know what to eat, you know, and I felt lazy. So I just put a lot of rice with a lot of chunk meat that I found. And I put some cheese on top of it. I put it in the microwave and it was boiling. The cheese was boiling. <laughs> and it was like, what? what? Why did you eat that? It was delicious because I found some chimichurri later and I put it on top too. So it was delicious. It's not healthy. <laughs> mm, you know, it, it wasn't greasy. Maybe the cheese, right? Yeah, the cheese was too much. But okay, let's see. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Erika Beatriz López Morales. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Irwin is not here today, that's weird. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Madeo Villacorta Cortés. Present. Fredis Vladimir Cortés López. Here, teacher. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Present. Oh, there you are. Amos Alfredo Garcia Granadino. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present, teacher. Excellent. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present. There you are. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Stefania Carolina Reyes Sanchez. Present. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortez Diaz. Oh, she's in a meeting, right? Okay. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Roberto Luis Omaño Arellana. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Present. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. And Thelma Clotilde Peña Martinez. Present. Good. 
you know what? Tonight I'm staying with Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores for 10 minutes. Yay! We're gonna check some grammar, okay? Yay. I'm gonna make you talk. I'm gonna make you dance, make you dance. Look, let me know, dear, dear girl. You know, what's my name? I'm not lose it. Just lose it. Go crazy. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I'm sorry, I'm hyper. <laughs> that song reminds me of my mother. When she came for the first time to El Salvador in 2004, she was dancing that song. And she's fatty. That's funny. Okay. For our next act, we have to answer the questions, right? On that conversation. Let's see. So really quick, let's do it together. What is Elsa trying to do? Buy a book. To buy a book? Okay. How? For app. Through the app? Through an app? App store. Oh, the app store. Through an app store. Yeah. You got it. What is the problem with the purchase? The number, credit card. The card number, the credit the card, card number. Credit card number. What's wrong with it? Listen, guys, what's wrong with it? I only have one student. Come on. What's wrong with the credit card? She has to add the home address. The home address, okay. Twice. Twice, that's the problem. And so what is Elsa going to do? Going to a physics store to, go to, the, to buy a copy. Go to the bookshop. Book shop. Stephanie, you said that she's going to buy a copy, a hard copy? <clears throat> a bookstore to, to okay. buy a copy. Like I said, okay, she's going to a bookstore to buy a hard copy, a real copy, okay, a physical copy. What does the eShop need to do to make their software more user-friendly? What do they have to do? Come on. He will like leave some feedback. He need, well, he will leave some make, feedback, Alex. Make the checkout less complicated. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Make the checkout less complicated for the end users. Okay, and so on. Good. On your WhatsApp, you're going to have right now a short video that we're going to discuss all together in small groups. My cell phone just disconnected from WhatsApp. There you go. Okay. We have a short video. This one is on your book, on that link that you, you saw on the, underneath the conversation. So let's watch that video together, and I will select three of you to give me your feedback about the video. Okay, go ahead. It's very short.
Let me know whenever you're ready. Okay, ready? So what is M commerce? What's M commerce? Mobile commerce. Okay. Could you break it down for me? Guys, could you break it down for me? What is it? It's like an explanation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, right. Give me a, a better explanation, a deeper mm -hmm. explanation. What did you understand in this M-commerce? Okay, I understood that uh, M-commerce is a, a new way you can uh, buy products and services using your cell phone because you don't need a, a bank account to complete transactions. You just need your, your phone like a wallet. Okay. Is anybody? Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's too more to, to easy to use because you can to have in your hands the cell phone. Um, you can navigate through the through the web in through whatever the, size through the websites. The different websites, okay. You can pay with your phone. Okay, thank you. Uh, you say it's easier, easier. It's easier, not more easy. It's easier, Frank. Comparatives, okay. superlatives. You can do it. Uh, Francisco, tú tienes muy buena idea ya a este punto de lo que es en inglés. Estás estructurando bien, haciendo, de hecho, tenés como una capacidad de que no estás traduciendo en tu mente del español al inglés, eso lo noto. O sea, lo que te falta es la pronunciación y la, lo que te falta más que todo es la seguridad de que lo que estás diciendo está bien. So, don't be afraid, ok? Da ese siguiente paso y ya estuvo, ok? Ok. Thank you. you can do it, you can do it. Okay, so yeah, 800 billion dollars sold by 2016 using mobile commerce. Interesting. Okay, let's go with the second one. Your book asks for me to play a one minute video. It is really boring. I didn't like it. So I chosen one. That is better. I actually was impressed when I saw this video for the first time, long time ago, because it's, I, I can't imagine it. It must be a very good experience to try this out. Check that video and please take notes of the vocabulary. Give me your impressions of the video when we return. I have, I have 22 students on this classroom. Come on, guys. Okay, watch the video, we will be here. I'm not going to split you.
Okay, 30 seconds. Okay, so what was your favorite part? It's really no, nice I'm... that we, we can use the Amazon app just to enter and take what we want to buy. And it virtually is going to the car, to the virtual car. It's, it's like having a virtual cart through. Really, really nice, yes. To turn off the phones, posing, and everything that you are taking is going to add to the virtual car. What if you put it back? Mm, I don't know. Good question. <laughs> you didn't they see that? Going to, they yeah. are going to uh, they discharge remove that, that yeah, product. Remote, you. Yeah. It is automatically removed. I felt so identified with that woman, you know, taking the muffin and then, mm, no. And then, ah. <laughs> it says it had deep learning algorithm. Yes, deep learning algorithm. You hear the master? Algorithm, algorithm. Nice. Yeah, deep learning algorithm. That's like the cookies, you know, but in more advanced way is, <laughs> how do you call that? Artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence, they mention it. Uh, yeah. I watch uh, some YouTubers that are are doing videos about that, that sort. For example, I watch Distrito uh, Comunica and they they uh, made a, a try. Uh, for example, they, they uh, get uh, some different product in different uh, lines mm -hmm. and uh, after that, they he uh, uh, put put back put back the, the, the some some products and others. Uh, he he go out the, the store and the, the and some product that they they brought in the the store, but they uh, before uh, got. Uh, uh, what was in a in the in the checkout? Wait, so if I understand where this in the right, checkout, where in the checkout? Wait, if I understand uh, because I was wondering that uh, fair, I was wondering what happens if you come out of the store with an item and then you go back and put the item back where it was. No, no, no. Uh, he he. He took the, the, the item and maybe a few minutes later they put put back. Oh, they, the they put it back. It wasn't immediately. You mean yes. it was later? Yes, but for example, <sighs> when when he, he go out to the store, he went he, out. He went out to the store. Uh, he oh, no. he received a, a checkout, and in the checkout that there were some some product that there he put back. So. Yeah, you can you can have a claim about that, and they refund it. Yeah, that was my point. They can re process a refund immediately. That's amazing, man. This is, this is great technology because a a huge headache. Let's be honest, of going to the supermarket is going through the registers, right? Am I right? Okay. What about the meat? I don't know if you have gone to one of these. I'm not going to mention the name, but you know, the supermarket. Okay. And then you have to go to the meat and spend like one hour waiting for your meat. That sucks. That really is, is awful to be among a lot of people. What? I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. What? No, 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 no. Okay. Hey, but do you know what, what I've noticed? And I don't like that, but anyways, they only 
give you great offers when it is payday. When you're close to payday, they only give great offers close to payday. Man, so you cannot avoid being surrounded by a lot of people. I mean, it's always crowded. It will always be crowded. So picture it, get used to it. Let's move on. Let's see. Hope you like the videos. Next. Why is this thing giving me the option of? Oh, OK. OK, so we have trends in e-commerce. I like this word. That's a trend. Man, you're so trendy. That's a trend. OK, we need to build vocabulary for intermediate five. We need to match the expressions related to m-commerce to the right descriptions. And then we will compare your answer. So the point of this exercise is for you to do it by yourself and then compare with your classmates in your group. We only have seven um, terms, okay? Let's do it in small groups. I'll send you a screenshot of this. And by the way, that's page 34. That's page 34 of your book. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> We have two. I'm going to share the screen. Okay. okay. We have to associate or relate. Okay. We have to do it alone first, right? Yes. Okay. The social media platform, they help the development, 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 and the management. No. For me, the social media platforms is the they enable the development and deployment and management of social media solution and service. For me, social media. Okay. Social media. Okay. Social media. Enable the development, deployment and management of social media, social media platforms. I think that too. But I'm going to read them. Versus whatever the question is, can obtain tickets using mobile phones. You can address your reserve that is available just about any, everywhere at all times. Read mm. this. Maybe have the <sighs> see. Okay. I'm going to write. I think there is number. <laughs> number six. I, I I put I put the oh. number six in there. The characteristic of a service that is available just about everywhere at all times. That's portability for me. I don't know what you think. Yes. Okay. And I think that is the first. <sighs> but maybe I can change my mind because I don't know. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> Convinced about that. And 
The second, mobile banking. It is reference to the use the. It re Yep. That will be number one. Social media platforms. Let's see. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, no. The process when we close the ATK using mobile phone. Mobile. Mobile thinking. Mobile. Okay. And service. Okay. Yes, we love just about everywhere at uh, all time. Number one of these is mobile banking. Let me see. Okay. The first one is three, right? The next one is six. The, the third one is one, five. And another one, the characteristic of a service that is available just about everywhere at all the time. What? Uh, oh, how the on. pronunciation, uh, okay. the last one, <laughs> will be quietly, I don't know, weekly. Is the teacher, teacher here? How do you pronounce? Uh -huh. Can you help us? Which one? Number seven. Ubiquity. 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 <laughs> and that reminds me in, in that meme from, um, uh, who was it? Um, Call Center Community or what? <laughs> no, no the, the last, the last vice president. Um, oh, sitting. But no, the vice president, the, what was his name? Ortiz, um, Ortiz what, uh huh. What, or this, yeah, they made a meme where he tried to say something that I like, pa, 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 pa. Oh, una <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's true. Okay. <laughs> okay, let me see. Next. 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 Move. number Yeah, we we finish. Yeah, teacher, we finish already. Really, and I was waiting for you to say something. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go back to compare.
Okay, so. Let's move on. What happens if I do this? Okay, no. Okay. Um, so social media platforms, give me the answers. I don't know. What's number one? Anybody find me? They enable the development, deployment, and management of social media solution and service. Solutions and Solutions service. and services. Social media platforms. Do we all agree? Yes. Yep. Yes. Yeah. That will be number one. Okay. Good. What, what will be number two? It's a refer to the use of a smartphone to perform online baking text. It refers to the use of a smartphone to perform online banking tasks. Banking tasks. Do we all agree? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, come on, guys. Cheer up. Number three, digital purchases. The first one. Purchases, purchases digital. for digital goods complete directly from within an e-shop. Within an within an e-shop. Within an e-shop. Everybody, within an e-shop. Within an e-shop. Oh. Within an e-shop. E-shop. Yeah, remember that the, the TH is a Z, okay? So you say within an e shop, like that. Within an e shop. Within an e shop. Within an e shop. Got it? Be careful. Purchases for digital goods completed directly from within an e shop. Okay. Number four, digital currencies. Digital currencies. What? Any means of payment that exists, exists purely in electronic form. Excellent, good, Erika. That's digital currencies, number four. Okay. Next, mobile ticketing. Mobile ticketing or mobile ticketing? No, ticketing. Ticketing, 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 ticketing. Yeah. Uh huh. Number five. The process whereby customers can obtain tickets using, using mobile phones. Can obtain tickets. What kind of tickets? Vouchers, I guess. Oh, using mobile phones. Okay. And that would be mobile ticketing. What's whereby? I guess it's the meaning of whatever place, maybe. Hmm. Or is it a synonym by which? I can tell you in Spanish. No. Through okay. which? Yes, go ahead. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to do it. Come on. Uh -huh. Like say, donde? Uh -huh. de, el proceso donde los clientes. A través del cual. ¿Sí o no? Come on, Blanca. Yes, you are right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's where right. Customers can obtain tickets using mobile phones. Okay, number six, portability. Nobody asked me, teacher, how do you pronounce that word? I just heard you saying portability. Come on. Portability. <laughs> portability. Portability. Uh-huh. Tickets for the green card to which an entity can be successfully moved from a domain to another. 
from one domain to another. Repeat, from one domain to another. From one domain to another. Perfect. That is the same advice I gave to Francisco. Repeat, 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 revise, revise, revise. Repetir, 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 revisar, revisar, revisar. You can okay. do it. That, that's all you're missing, guys. You understand the grammar, just practice the pronunciation. That's it. Okay, and by pure logic, number seven, ubiquity. 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 Uh huh. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh my God, I forgot what is that. <laughs> what? Ah, the characteristic of a uh, uh, yeah of a mm -hmm. service that is available just about everywhere at all times. Good at all times. At all times. At all times. Good. Good, good job. This is like omnipresent, right? That is available just about everywhere at all times. Can you give me an example of an example of ubiquity? Mm -hmm. A product or service that is available just about everywhere at all times. Ivanka. No. At least not with Banco Agricola. I, I try to do a transaction right now. It won't go through until tomorrow. Netflix? Netflix? Just about everywhere at all times. Yeah. Yeah, but that's up to your internet. Yeah. <laughs> what about nachos? What? What? Yeah. Be beers. Oh. Oh, ice. Yes. Churritos. Water. Water. Water in El Salvador. <laughs> what, what am I talking about? What is it? Nachos, donuts, croissants, burgers. Churros, churritos. Churros. Hugo, but Hugo, no. Hugo is not 24 7. Actually, I think they kind of do because they can go to the place that I'm referring to, a gas station. Oh. <laughs> a gas station has ubiquity. You can always find a store in a gas station. Nowadays, there's always a, a store in a gas station, right? Okay. It is your turn. Hmm. You have 15 minutes exactly to work in this dilemma. You have this uh, job right now. Go online and find information about the birth of M commerce. Careful, it says the birth, it doesn't say the beard. The beard of M commerce and its evolution worldwide. So, how did this whole thing start? I don't know. Brainstorm on the milestones of the development of M commerce in the country. Give me one second. There is just one thing here. Oh. Yep, 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 yep. Hmm. Yep, yep. You know what? I'll go ahead and explain you this a little bit so you can prepare afterwards a little presentation, but let's go with the grammar first. Although this is something that I have explained to you since day one, how to use the definite article, the, okay? Really quick. Uh, well, there's some grammar on this. Uh, use the plus a noun when the heater, the reader, oh, the heater, really? Okay, the listener, <laughs> the listener, the reader already has a reference of the noun you are referring to. 
this is so complicated in these words. Okay, pay attention, okay? I'm gonna move this thing. Okay, the heater and the reader. This is like telling you if the object that you're talking about is already in the context of the conversation, then you use the plus a noun. For example, the Christmas we went to our grandpa's house. Do you remember the Christmas that we went to our grandpa's house? Oh, yes. To immediately transport yourself to that part, right, of your history. Do you remember? Okay, then you use the because it gives an importance, you know, to that, to that, to that, that, that event. Um, let's say that we, we talked about, oh, do you remember the topic we covered yesterday? Yeah. If you were in the class, you remember it, right? So it's in the context of the conversation. So you use the or the article. Okay, now second example, you use the plus a count noun to express that the noun is specific as opposed to general. Why do they have to make things so complicated? The year of technology and customer service. Okay, 2017 will be the year of technology and customer service. Okay. Now you can use nouns, again, the ability to offer a self-service approach to customers, to consumers is very important. All of this, um, all of this refers to, to simple words. We use the to say that something is very important, okay? To emphasize, as I told you before, the United States of America, good? You remember? Yeah. Okay. Don't 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 lose that thought. Number two, we use the or the to say that something is specific. I cannot say uh, let's. Um, I like the ants. I cannot say I like the ants. I like ants. Okay. I like. And, and there I don't use the article in general. Now, you know, I was thinking for intermediate five, talking about the article the, but guys, in reality, we make this mistake very often. Hold on. So again, when you generalize, Okay, una de las chicas que me diga cómo se dice en inglés. Okay, todos los hombres son iguales. Translate. All men the same. Oh, close, close. Verb to be. Are. All men are the same. Excellent. All men are the same. Todos los hombres que conozco son, son iguales. Cambié de barrio. Sí, oh, men. <laughs> I know. I know. Exactly. <laughs> All the men that I know are the same. Mm -hmm. Makes sense, right? That I know. You're very specific. Now, be careful. When you talk about music, I like reggae music. General. Okay, I like, okay, the reggae music that your band plays, very specific. I like the reggae music that your band plays. Sometimes you have to be careful with uh, music um, genres, music genres. So again, just focus on this. Are we generalizing? We don't use the article. We want to be very specific, we use the. 
we want to be to emphasize that something is unique. Okay, how do you say la Biblia in English? The Bible. Like the, Bible. The, the Bible. The Bible, because there's only one for you, right? The Son. Now, you never use, I have to say it, I'm sorry, you never use the article with proper nouns. Be careful. Don't say the William, the Brian, <laughs> right? <laughs> what teacher. else? The teacher, the teacher mm, yeah, teacher is a common noun. That's the point. It's a common noun. It's not well, a proper yeah, noun. I said because we, in Spanish we use the el tal, el otro. Uh -huh. el... So with proper nouns, the Fernando, el Fernando. <laughs> no, no, no. It's the same in Spanish and English. Is is unrespectful. And be careful. Let's go to the Metro Centro or let's go to Metro Centro. Let's go to Metro Central. Let's go to the mall. Let's go to the mall. Mm, that's different. Yeah, that's general. It, it's a common noun, the mall. That's, oh, that's another thing. Common nouns that you typically use. Let's go to the dentist, the doctor, the beach, the supermarket, the cinema the theater mm, exception let's go to school let's go to school not to the school be careful let's go to school you got it questions um, i'm still missing one point questions Thank you. Teacher, and why, why sometimes you say the and sometimes you say the? Uh huh. Okay. It sounds like the before a vowel. If the word starts with a vowel and you say the, the artificial intelligence, the consumers, the, the, the consumers. The artificial, the Teacher, ice cream. In this case, it is about the vowel sound, right? Or it's no? The sound, exactly. It's the vowel sound. If it starts with a vowel sound, then you say the, okay? The apple, the ice cream, okay? But the night, the stars, got it? You sure you have no questions? Teacher. Hey. You use D when something is really important too. Yeah, that's my point. Exactly. Emphasis. You emphasize that something is unique, that something is important. Okay. Come on, come on. The questions? Okay, we can cross now unnecessary determiners. And let's compare the answers. So social robot, robots already work in the customer service. Okay, give it a try. Give it a shot. If you find a mistake, let me know. Uh, social robots already work in customer service? What do you mean? Is without the the without the article. Yes. Okay. Social robots already work in customer service. Perfect. Why? Why I don't need the, the, the article? Because yes. customer service is general. No, for example, the customer service ad agent. For example, I if I say area here at the end of the sentence, social oh, is, that is robots, specific. And that will be a specific, very good for social robots already work in the, or I'm sorry, the customer service area, the customer service area. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, any other? Uh, the two, the technology has changed. Wait, 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 what? The two? No, 
Number technology. Two, oh, number two. <laughs> number two, number two. <laughs> Perfect example. Number two, the technology has changed the way to, that businesses interact with the customers. Mm -hmm. Or no, without no. that. Yeah. Ah, what are technology? Okay, read it again for technology has changed the way. What way? Oh, the way that businesses interact with customers. Okay. That's it. Not with the customers that we attend. Okay, the customers that we take care of. Yeah. Okay. Sure. What yeah. page is it? Thank you. I was about to tell you. It's page thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. This is page thirty-seven. Oh, he has the book. How do you say plantear in English? Like picársela, like. Yeah. William. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. And he's so humble. <laughs> it's the opposite of humble. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? Show off? You can say show off. Uh huh. Uh, there's some, there, no, there's another way, a uh, more common way of saying show off. Oh my God, I forgot about it. He's brag. Brag. Oh. Yeah, bragging. Mm. Always bragging. Okay, number three. Come on. Blanca, Luis, Erika, Jose Alberto, wake up. Jessica, <laughs> Doris. Oh my God, Judy, Andres, I was working today. For the reason I... I know, man, don't worry. Uh, you, you, you caught some thieves with, with uh, some drugs, right? With cocaine. That was uh, you, right? Yeah, weapons. What? Weapons? Oh, weapons, Bans. yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, I saw you on the news. Yeah. Here I am. Oh my God. Yeah. Did you keep any uh, of the guns? You should have kept one, one gun at least, you know, a grenade or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, I did. <laughs> okay. And there were a lot of weapons. Okay. Uh-huh. I was saying Jocelyn, Andres, Alexander, Jervin, Sandra, Glenda, Francisco, please turn on your cameras. Come on, wake up. Okay. Number three. We're almost done. Businesses are taking full advantage of the smartphone revolution. Mm -hmm. What do you think, guys, the smartphone revolution? That's a tricky one. Businesses are taking full advantage of the smartphone revolution, smartphone revolution. Okay, I'm not being a specific, am I? The smartphone revolution. Is that no. something specific? No, okay. No. Discard it, okay, scratch, scratch the thought, scratch that thought. Um, what about, is this a unique event? Is it a unique event? No. Or important? Um, Should we emphasize? No. Let's see, businesses are taking full advantage of smartphone revolution. Let me tell you, I will choose either one of the two. So I will say with or without the article. If I want to emphasize, I can use the or the smartphone. I'll leave it the same. Yeah, same thing. Okay. Through mobile apps, the retailers send customers real time information about the products and offers. Thelma, what do you think? Through mobile apps, the retailers send customers real time information about the products and offers. I think the retailers. Um, <laughs> Your microphone. Tell me. Yeah. Wait, wait, Thelma's trying to turn on her microphone. I know she can do it. Come on, girl. Show me. Show Ooh, me. There you go. Through mobile apps. Through mobile apps. Sync customer real time information about products. Excellent. Yes. 
So not the, not there, right? Okay, through mobile apps, retailers and customers real-time information about products and offers. This is generalizing, generalizing, very good. Number five, Blanca, go ahead. Okay, the big data or data, the big data, analytic, analy, analytics. It's analytics. change analytics is changing how the businesses operate and communicate with customers. Big data. I think it's unnecessary. Big data analysis, analytics, analytics. It's changing how the businesses. The businesses, I think that it's necessary. All right, I don't. <laughs> I will take it off, scratch it off. Which okay, business? Okay. Just think about it. Big data analytics that we uh, provide. Yeah, it's general. That's it's gen right. Gen it's generalizing, okay. It's changing how businesses operate and communicate with customers. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And the last one, Jessica Yanari. You're so quiet tonight. Are you lonesome? Sorry, did you, but I'm really busy. Oh, so yeah, you're working. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, Jocelyn, what you. do you think? Number six. Yeah they continually gather and analyze the data to improve the experience. Did you hear me? Did you hear me, sorry? I heard you reading, but which one should we remove or keep? Mm, let me see. Gather. I mean, we're talking about the article, honey. Uh, do we need it or not? Mm, okay. Yes, we need it. We need it? Yes, I guess we need it. We need it to improve the experience. Okay. Uh, no, we don't need it. They continually gather and analyze the data that we provide to improve the experience. I'm very... I'm being very specific. The data that we provide or customers uh, bring to us to improve the experience. So if I'm generalizing, guys, be careful. I'm not using articles. I'm not using the, the. You got it? Yes. I'll bring you some exercises tomorrow so we can practice together. I'm staying with Blanca tonight. Hope you enjoy the rest of your night. Rest some. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Good night. Oh, good night. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Good night. Good night. Like Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good night. Good night. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Erika Beatriz Lopez Morales. Present. Good night. Good night. Irwin Lagos Andrade, Fernando Ernesto Pazme Morales. Present, good night. Good night, Francisco Madeo Villacorta Chavez. Present, good night. Freddy, good night, Freddy Vladimir Cortes López. Here, teacher, good night. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Present, teacher, good night. Good night. Vimos Alfredo García Granadino, José Alberto Salas Benítez. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present, good night. Present, good night. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Um, good night. Thank you. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present, good night. Good night. Stefania Carolina Reyes Sanchez. Present, good night. Good night. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present, good night. Good night. Jessica Yanari Cortez Diaz. Here, good night, George. Good night. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present, good night. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana, Yvonne, uh, Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Present, good night. Good night. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present, good night. Yervin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present, good night. Good night. Thelma Clotilde Peña Martínez. Thank you, good night. Good night. Are you lonesome tonight? Do you miss me tonight? Hello. Hello. How you doing? Well, I was cleaning my, my bedroom because I, I want to feel, fall asleep 
at the moment that I finish. <laughs> you feel like uh, the classes are beginning bored or what? No, no. It's because I have to wake up on early on the morning. What's early? Uh, tomorrow I have to wake up 4 a.m. At 4 a.m.? Yeah. At 4 a.m. At really? 4 a.m. Yeah, and I, I don't I don't like to wake up early, but I have to. <laughs> Tell me about it. Yeah, I hate that. It. And you know what's funny? Um, that is the, I yeah. mean, I have to wake up at 4.45 every day. But I'm supposed to start working right away at 5 a.m., right? And I'm like this the whole the first two hours of my morning early. <laughs> oh my god. And just type in and then suddenly I open my eyes and I oh my god, what is, what was I doing? <laughs> so for me, it happens when I'm driving too. And that's really dangerous, I think. Because, well, I, I really felt tighter and I have to go, I have to went to my I home. To I got to go home. I got to go home early because I have to rest. <laughs> uh, Repeat the last sentence. I have to go home. Mm. No, I have to mm, get. I, ah, get. I have to get home. Yeah. Repeat. I got to get. I gotta get home. I gotta get home early. Early. Gotta get home early. To rest. Do it again. Gotta get home early. I gotta get home early. I gotta gotta get home early. Gotta get home to early. To rest. To rest, yeah. Yeah. Americans don't even pronounce the I, you know, they just got like, gotta get home early. Gotta get, uh, yeah, yeah. Gotta get home early. Yeah. Yeah. It happens a lot to me, so. <laughs> When I when I told to my friend, to my best friend, when I told her, oh, I really want to sleep, she always said to me, okay, I'm going to drive. <laughs> she always tells yeah. me. She always tells me. She always tells me. Yeah, yeah. She always yeah. tells me, okay, I'm going to drive so you can rest. Okay, let me drive. Yeah. Or, okay, I'll drive. <laughs> um, my, I had a cousin, rest in peace. He he used to fall asleep while driving to San Suntepeque. To San Suntepeque. I mean, but he had he had worked for like for oh, what was it La Constancia? No, 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 no. These guys that sell tobacco, you know, cigarettes, cigars. No cigarettes. Um, it was something similar to La Constancia. I can remember. The thing is that he, that was his first job. He used to be all around in Salvador, driving, driving, driving. And he was thin. He was very thin. But then he got married and he got fat, really fat. You know, oh not, 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 not like big, big, big fat, but big belly, you know. And he was tall. The thing is that when he needed to sleep, he used to fall asleep. We, I remember once I was going to, to um, what did I say? Uh, to Sensundepeque with him. And he, I just looked at him and he was like. Oh my God. Driving it's the pickup. I'm like, hey, Alex, Alex, Alex. He was like, what, okay, what, what? You were, sleeping. Oh you were sleeping, you were snoring. No, uh, oh my God. I, was, I wasn't sleeping. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, that was so dangerous. Why don't you park aside, you know, and have some sleep and then we continue? No, no, no. Oh my God. And well, the, other, the other way around. He used to get uh, into the living room, turn on the TV. Okay, I used to go like, turn off the TV. And as soon as I turned off the TV, he was like, hey, I'm watching that. Like, uh, 
What? <laughs> my, father, my, my father is. It's like him. Really? <laughs> yeah. When when I have to turn off his TV, uh, he always woke up. Wakes he always up. Wakes up. Yeah. He always wakes up. He always wakes up. He always, he always wakes up. This is difficult. Up. He always wakes up. He always yeah. wakes up. He always wakes, wakes up. up. <laughs> yeah. He always wakes up. So it's it's well for me. I'm too worry about it because uh, there are some is histories that some histories, stories. Some stories. Some, some stories that people crash their cars by fell asleep just once i don't know 10 seconds i don't know but by falling okay. asleep by falling asleep one right. yeah a few seconds that happened to uh the podiatrist the, the way the pediatrist of my kids um he's a very nice person he used to have two two kids but the oldest um daughter she fell asleep and she crashed against a tree. So basically she ended up in a half, you know, like not totally caught in a half, but the the steering wheel got into the middle of her chest. Oh my God. So, I mean, when he was able to talk to her, he could still talk to her, but she passed away. As soon as they removed the, the steering wheel, she bleed it in, that's it. It was so sad because she fell asleep. Yeah, it's too dangerous. When I, when I, when, when I was uh, at the university, at that, I don't know at that situation at that at that. I, that when I was in that circumstance, in that circumstance. Well, once one time, I have to call to my mom, and. Tell her that it spoke to me. Tell her to talk to me. Yeah. Talk because to me, I, talk to me. Talk to yeah. me about whatever you want. Yeah, I, I was driving on, <laughs> I don't know, uh, from Chalatenango to Apopa because I, I, I live on Apopa, in Apopa, I live in Apopa. And I, I was driving from Chalatenango to, to here. And I have to to call to my mom and and wait, tell her. Wait. Call my mom. Call my mom. Call my mom. Yeah, I have to call my mom and tell her, mom, talk talk about whatever you want to me. <laughs> Just tell me what are you cooking? <laughs> what are you doing right uh, now? If I told my mother or my or my father that you know. They will go like you know what when my when your mother and I used to be together at night. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. no, shut up. No, I don't want to know. That. Want to... <laughs> know. Oh my god, that, that no. reminds me of American Pie. Oh my god. The father. <laughs> oh I never god. seen that movie. I what? I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it's it. I don't funny. know. It's funny. It's funny in some way. Okay. Hey, do you have good English? Just be careful with the prepositions and third persons in simple present. After the uh, frequency adverbs, you still need the verb with ES or IS on third persons, right? Uh -huh. uh, she always wakes up. That's difficult. Uh, yeah, that's difficult for me. Yeah. Okay. I always forget what is the right word to use. Oh, the difference between say and tell. Yeah. They, they say, she tells talk, me. Talk mm -hmm. or tells. Uh, yeah, excellent, very good. Hey, nice. If you need my good help, night. just text me. Enjoy the night. Bye bye. Hey, teacher, I, I have a question. I have a yeah. question. Uh, in on the platform, I have to finish everything. Just everything, okay? Yeah, just move bye. on as much as you can because this is our last week. Okay, okay. I have to finish. Oh. Okay. Okay, good girl. teacher. Thank you. Good night. Good night.